Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Skyrim's special edition. My name is Camel and today we have the guide for the Rufal Axe, which is interestingly kind of a Daedric weapon, but not really a Daedric weapon, but it is, but the game doesn't think so, but we'll get onto that later. And if you want to skip straight to the overview for the weapon, a timestamp can be found in the description to help you and your viewing experience. So with that aside, firstly, to get the quest, to get the Rufal Axe, you need to be level 10 or higher. So once you've achieved that, make your way to the city of Falkreath. Of course, the city of Falkreath is found within the hold of Falkreath. Who would have thought? <laughs> On the map, it can be found right here. Once we arrive, a guard will approach us. Did you see a dog out there? Oh well. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. This will give us the miscellaneous quest objective to find and speak to Lod. So of course make your way into the city and head straight to the blacksmith. Did you see a hound on the road? Fine, strong creature that's been wandering near town. There's one out on the road. I can't afford to chase him down, but I could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep me company. If you were willing to retrieve him for me, I'd give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road. Good. There's some gold in it for you if you succeed. Here's the meat. Check the road just outside of town. Now finding the dog that Lod is speaking of is super easy as it is marked on our map. So head out of the city of Falkreath into the hold of Falkreath and find that little fella. You are exactly what I was looking for! Yeah, Skyrim is now host to giant flying lizards and two-legged cat men. And you're surprised by me? Yeah, I just talked, and I'm continuing to do so. You see, my name is Bobbis, and I have a problem I think you can help sort out. My master and I had a bit of a falling out. We got into an argument and it got rather heated. He's kicked me out until I find someone who can settle our disagreement. That's where you come in. Thank you. Now since he banished me, Vile's been rather weak. He can't manifest very far from one of his shrines. I know there's a cult that worships him at Hamar's shame. We should be able to talk to him there. If this works out, I'll make sure you're rewarded. Hey, just don't trust any offer he makes you, okay? This will start the quest we need to be on, called a Daedra's Best Friend. Now you can follow Barbus all the way there, or you can just make your own faster way straight to Hamar's shame. On the map it can be found here, which is in the mountains between Falkreath and Riften, pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, once we are here, head inside until you reach the Shrine of Clavicus Vile. Once here, of course, speak to the Shrine. By all means, let's hear it. It's the least I could do since you already helped me grant one final wish for my last worshippers. They were suffering so from vampirism and begged me for a cure. Then you came and ended their misery. I couldn't have planned it better myself. So, what's your heart's desire? What kind of deal can we strike? Ah, that insufferable pup! Forget it! Request denied! No deal! I'm glad to be rid of him. Even if it does mean I'm stuck in this pitiful shrine in the back end of nowhere. Well, perhaps there is a way he could earn his place back at my side? Maybe. But no promises. There's an axe. An incredibly powerful axe. An axe powerful enough for me to have quite a bit of fun indeed. If you bring it to me, I'll grant you my boon. No strings attached, no messy surprises. At least not for you. 
As I recall, it's resting in Rhyme Rock Burrow. Barbers can lead you right to it. Little Mutt might even earn his place back at my side. So now what we'll need to do is make our way all the way over to the other side of Skyrim, pretty much anyway. All the way to Rhyme Rock Burrow. On the map, it's right here. Once inside, kill whatever Fallery dwells within. Then on the altar can be found nothing other than the Rueful Axe. Of course, pick it up. Once you do that, head back to the Shrine of Clavicus Vile and speak to him once more. Ah, you've got the axe! And my dog! Splendid! Excellent work! A hero and his faithful companion retrieving the ancient artifact for the prince. It's almost... storybook. Ah, oh, but it almost seems a shame to give a weapon like that away, doesn't it? I suppose I could be persuaded to let you keep it. But only if you use the axe to kill Barbus. Simple as that. And I could absorb the spirit of poor dead Barbus. He'd still be reunited with me. And I'm sure Barbus doesn't want me to have that axe. He'd want it this way. The choice is yours, friend. We're all counting on you to make the right decision. Put him out of our misery. Sorry, Barbus, I must commit dog domestic abuse. Absolutely. Now I can reabsorb his body and return to full power, all without having to listen to his whining. Oh, sure, he'll be back in a century or two. But think of the fun I can have till then. Enjoy that axe, and don't worry about poor old Barbus. After all, he really should have picked a better friend. And now we can keep the Rueful Axe, so let's check it out. The Rueful Axe. It has a base damage of 22, a very slow swing speed of 0.5, as the swing speed for a normal battle axe is 0.7. But anyway, swing speed of 0.5, then the base damage of 22 combined with the swing speed of 0.5 leaves us with a base DPS, that's damage per second, of 11. It has a surprisingly light weight of 10, which actually makes it the second lightest battle axe in the game, only bested by the Drain Blood Axe. It it has a value of 1183, it can also be upgraded with an ebony ingot which requires you to have the arcane smithing perk. And although even with the Skyrim special edition unofficial patch, the Rueful Axe does not benefit from any of the smithing perks. What this means is, if you wish to upgrade it to legendary, you will need to fortify your smithing skill beyond 100 to do so. And finally, it's enchantment. It does 20 points of stamina damage. So firstly, the tail of the Rueful Axe. There was a powerful wizard named Sebastian Lort. He had a daughter inflicted with lycanthropy. Lort asked Clavicus Vile for a cure for his daughter, and as an evil play of tomfoolery, Vile gave Lort the Rueful Axe as a cure for his daughter. Physically, the Rueful Axe even bears a werewolf head motif on the blades of the axe even further mocking Lot and his werewolf daughter. Now, practically, in-game, the Rueful Axe is a good choice of weapon for a low-level player, as the quest to get the axe is fairly easy and does not require much skill. It also bears the same damage as a glass battle axe, and has a very light weight, almost half that of what would be expected. Unfortunately, its swing speed is 0.5 swings per second, whereas a normal battle axe has a swing speed of 0.7. And Warhammers have the slowest swing speed of any weapon type in the game, which is 0.6. So given that the Rueful Axe has a swing speed of 0.5, it actually has the slowest swing speed of any melee weapon in the game. Also, its enchantment isn't super useful 
drains 20 points of stamina damage, and draining stamina is kind of an eh enchantment to begin with, so really you'll probably kill the enemy with just straight up damage before you even see any of the effects of their stamina being drained. So there definitely are better battle axes out there, but again, if you get this at a low level, it might be worth your while. Interestingly, if the Rufal Axe is equipped on your character, hold guards may comment as such. It is a wicked axe you wield there, friend. That blade looks sharp enough to cut through a god. Now sadly, even though in terms of lore, it was created by a Daedric Prince, therefore it is a Daedric weapon. But in game it does not count as a Daedric weapon and therefore it does not count towards the Oblivion Walker achievement. If you do wish to get this achievement, you must accept the Mask of Clavicus Vile instead of the Rufal Axe. And finally, the Rufal Axe has the wrong unsheathing sound tag. It bears the sound file for a one-handed sword. This has, however, been fixed with the unofficial patch. So that's that, the Rufal Axe. The axe that has been overeating kangaroos. As it's rue full. <laughs> And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for the Daedric artifact that isn't quite a Daedric artifact, the mocking and teasing Rufal Axe. I do hope that this video helped you out. If it did, you might be interested in checking out the other Skyrim Special Edition guides that I've already done. Links to those can be found in the description. Down in the description is also links to my social medias, including Twitter and Patreon. Be sure to follow me on Twitter if you are keen to know what I'm up to, and be sure to hit up all the other links if you are keen in supporting the channel. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into creating these videos for you, so your support is most welcome and appreciated in any and all forms. And with that said, remember to like, share, comment, and if you'd like to see more content similar to this, please subscribe, I will love you for it. Also, feel free to check out the links on screen, you'll definitely enjoy them. Thank you very much for watching, thank you very much for supporting the channel, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.